Downhill bikes are an amazing piece of engineering with an abundance of travel, front and rear, that can take a hell of a beating. We've come out to the trails and we've got five essential downhill mountain biking skills that you guys must know. Right, when it comes to riding steep descents on a downhill bike, you want to get your weight to the back of the bike. You don't want to let it too much over the back because you don't want your front end to get a bit loose. Another tip is dropping your heels, having your heels dropped and when you're moving your bike around down the hill, move your bike with your hips more than you're steering, keep your head up and look forward. Don't look at your front wheel, look at your exit. It's these rough strengths that the downhill bike really excels, just swallowing all those massive holes. And the key skill here is to make sure that your weight is pretty central. So if you need to go backwards or even forwards, that you can do that. If you're not in that position quite central in the bike, then you risk actually being able to be bucked, not keep your feet on, and then you can lose control. And of course, you need to have a strong upper body and keep those legs squatted on the bike so you can just move up and down and really pump into those bumps. And if you have the skill and ability to, you could even start to think about doubling them and then coming into the turn with as much speed as you have built from the whole section. So following on from coming through those rough sections, this section is almost identical. It's really rough, the holes are chopped out but there's a different line choice here. And this is where you can bring the pre-hop into your mountain biking. And what I mean about pre-hopping is instead of just going straight through this section right here and getting bounced around, the brakes aren't really working with the suspension, you're not digging in and slowing down. What I can actually do is I've got a little takeoff right here that can send me a little bit further down the trail and there's a little downslope which I can just catch and it's gonna get me over this bump right here, landing into that downslope gaining momentum from landing and it's going to take me into the next section with a lot more control and more speed which when you're racing or trying to go fast that is what you want another example of the pre-hop but this time i don't have a little jump to actually bump jump me through the section i've got to rely on that bunny hop technique compressing the bike and pre-hopping into it the key here is to get your wheels as high as you can on the top of the landing so you can really push into it gain momentum and you'll get through that next section Jumping is an essential skill when coming to downhill. It's key. There's two ways of doing it. There's popping and squashing. On this particular jump, it's quite long. You want to pop it. Basically, preloading your suspension and popping. That will give you your distance or height over any obstacle that is in front of you. Okay, so the opposite of popping is squashing. This is the perfect obstacle to squash because you're coming in really hot. And you don't want to go too far. So basically, what you want to do to squash is hit the jump but bring the bike into you. Just imagine there's a low roof and you want to go under it. You want to squash it because you don't want to go too far. With being on that downhill bike, when you're coming into corners, you can really hit them hard. It's all about trust. You've got big geometry, slack head angles, you've got grippy tires and of course, a lot of suspension. So when you're coming into those turns, do your braking early, get off the brakes, push the bike round and really dig into those corners. So you're coming into it and out of it with as much speed as possible. So that's our five essential downhill skills that are a must have. I love sending huge jumps to flat, man. You? I'm all about those rough straights and then finding a cheeky little pre-hop that you can jump on and have even more speed. Nice. Click here to subscribe if you want to see more of that and click here to ride how to ride trails fun. And if you want to know if flats or clip pedals are faster for those rough straights, then click right down here. And don't forget to give us a thumb up like. <laughs>